Hi, my name is Rayo Daniel. In this video, I'm going to show high level affiliates. If you're an affiliate for the high level software platform, I'm going to show you how you can actually set up the new webhook feature that just came out a few months ago inside of the workflows. I'm going to show you how you can use that instead of Zapier to actually capture webhook data whenever affiliate leads sign up for a high level under your account. So right now, um, in the past, training through uh, you know, high level has always kind of pointed you toward creating a, a Zapier account and then using webhooks through Zapier. Right now, what I'm gonna show you is that you can use that exact same feature set inside of high level now that they've created an internal webhook. This video is gonna go over how to create all of that. Now, um, real quick, there, there is something that I'm gonna need you to do first. Right now, uh, for the sake of simplicity, there's a lot of data I wanna give you this file that you're looking at right here, um, in the link in the description of this video, you can click on that link and download this file from my website. So this right here is all the information that you're gonna need to move forward and get everything set up. Now, right now, there are five webhooks that High Level offers affiliates, meaning five different events that happen that you can track as a High Level affiliate. I just wanna go over those real quick here. So. I'm gonna blow this up. We've got step one, lead subscribed. So when somebody clicks on your affiliate link, goes to the first form and fills out the first step of the two-step order form, that has about four different fields in there that somebody needs to fill out. When they fill that out and click next to go to the second page where they actually pay, then step one, um, webhook fires. That means um, that event happened. So the lead subscribed. Now you get a notification that somebody subscribed, but they haven't gone through and paid yet. So whenever they actually put in their credit card information and, and sign up for it, then step two kind of fires. So the lead sign up form, that webhook fires. Now, whenever they've decided to, um, at this point, get high level and not necessarily use the free trial anymore. So they, they're going to commit and they're going to uh, actually end the free trial and make, or maybe at the end of the free trial and their payment goes live, then step three fires. That's when they make their first payment. Now, step four is going to fire whenever high level pays you any information. So that reward created, that's what's going to fire on step four. And then step five is if the lead cancels. So that those are the five steps, the five different web hooks that we're going to need to set up in order to get all of the uh, events that you could possibly capture as an affiliate captured inside of high level. So I just want to show you that real quick. And I'm actually going to come back to this at the end. Right now, what we need to do is after we create all the workflows and we get all of these web hooks set up, what we need to do is then, um, you're gonna use this right here to copy, and then at the end of this, you're just simply gonna put in the webhook URL on each step, and then you're gonna send that to support. So that's what you're gonna do at the end of the video here. Once you have all the uh, the webhook URLs, you're gonna have to send it over to support, and then support will then have to, you'll have to create a ticket. Support will then have to update those links in the first promoter system, which in turn, once that gets done, then it will activate, and now the uh, high level will start using those webhooks moving forward. So I just wanna kind of explain to you that's what's gonna happen. We're not gonna create all five steps in this. We're only gonna do you know one or two steps. I just wanna show you how to kind of get this thing configured. At that point, you can kind of build everything out on your own, okay? So again, before we get started, click on the link in this video because you're gonna need this file to uh, move forward. Next thing we're gonna do is I need you to go to postman.com. This is a third party tool that you're gonna need to use in order to get your webhook set up. So postman.com, it's a free tool. Go create an account. It might take you you know, a couple minutes to get that set up. So you need to pause this video, pause it, um, and then come back. But get that um, set up. I'm not gonna walk through that on this particular video. I'm assuming that you've already done it. So right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into high level. I've already created a folder here just for affiliate webhooks, just to kind of put these in. Uh, I'm gonna create a workflow. We're just gonna create one from scratch, okay? Now, um, typically the name, um, me personally, I like just using the name like step one, you know, lead subscribed. That way the workflow is, um, you know, tells you exactly what, um, what it's for. So now we've got um, this workflow that you know kicks off whenever the 
the lead subscribe. So we're going to click on add a workflow trigger. We're going to do an inbound webhook. Now, here's the problem with using the webhooks inside of here. Not really a problem, just another step that we have to go through. There's no data in here yet. Um, we're going to have to send data to this webhook in order to populate the fields that we're going to map into the contact record. So if we click fetch samples, notice that there's no results found. So we're going to copy this. We're going to come over to another tab here. This is the uh, Postman interface. You're going to go, once you get your account created, you should be on the home screen. We're just going to go to a workspace. Doesn't matter which one, just pick one. And we're going to come up here and click on this new, uh, new request. And out of all these, we're going to choose HTTP. We're going to select this get, uh, change this to post. And then we're going to put the webhook URL in there. So there that is. Now we're going to come down here and select the body. We're going to select this and choose raw. Then we're going to select the text and choose JSON. We're going to come back to this file. What we need to do is copy this bracket all the way down. Up. Oh, sorry about that. Copy this bracket all the way down to the bottom of the file. So all of this is what is necessary in order to send a request over to that webhook so that we can get the field set up correctly. So we need to get all the way to the very end of that bracket. We're going to copy that. We're going to come here and just simply paste this so that we have this um, all in here. Now, once you do this, you can just simply click on send. You're going to see status success uh, test request received. So now at this point, we can come back over here. We can now click on this and now we see that we received a request. So if we click on this, now we see all the data that was in that field has been submitted over. Now there's no data in this uh, example I gave you. I kind of built this myself, took all the, the sort of relevant data out. These are just placeholder fields. So the, all we need is just the placeholders. Now, whenever we um, actually map the data, uh, and first promoter sends those webhooks over, they will have data in them. So right now we're gonna, uh, now that this has been populated, we're gonna click save trigger. Notice that we have creator update contact. So right now what we need to do is we need to take all the fields that have been populated and update the contact record. So what we need to do is add a field. So we're gonna come down here and just choose, um, business name is one of them. Um, we'll just start at the top since that's the first one. Um, right now, you're going to have to click on this. Notice we have some categories. You're going to be in the data field. All the stuff that we need is in data. So business name, that's the same as like company name. So we're going to go to data. We're going to scroll down a little bit. We're going to choose custom fields and we're going to choose company name. Okay, so now the company name on that first signup form will not get mapped to the contact field. We're going to come down here and put in email. We're going to come down here to data and then select the email field right here. We're going to come here and select uh, just the first name, data. We're going to come down to custom fields. We're going to put in name and we got one more. We got the phone number. So we're going to do the phone, come here, go to data, come down to custom fields, map the phone number. So now here are all four of the fields that we have on the first signup form. When somebody subscribes, this is all the information that's relevant to the contact as of right now. So if you wanted to, this is a great time where if you uh, wanted to add a field for like, uh, I believe there's a contact source. So if you want to include like where this contact came from in a source field, you can do that. I'm not going to do that in this video. Just wanted to be helpful and kind of tell you that you could do all of that while you're here, but we're going to click on save action. Now, when we do this, we're going to simply click on save. This in turn is going to update the webhook, and now you actually have a webhook set up and configured for the step one lead subscribed, okay? So what we need to do now is, um, one thing that you could do is copy this um, URL and come back to the file that you downloaded. Come all the way back up here to the top and we can simply just paste this URL here. So now we have lead uh, step one lead subscribed on and we have our new webhook and again as we do this we're populating these uh, steps just so that at the end of when we configure all five of these steps or when you do you can then take this step one through five copy all of it 
and then submit that into support so that they can update the new web hooks. And then whenever they get finished and they update the web hooks at that particular point, then your web hooks inside that of these workflows that we're creating will become live. So right now we're going to do um, one more, uh, just one more, just to kind of show that we can do it. I also want to show you just a little quick trick. So we're going to do start from scratch. Let's just be thorough, call it step two, lead sign up. We're gonna add a new trigger, add an inbound webhook, exact same process that we did before. We're gonna copy this. Now, the nice thing is we don't have to copy all this data again, or we don't have to set anything up inside of here. We just simply come here and remove that URL, paste the new one, leave everything else the same, and then just click send. So this is where it becomes much easier. The very first time we set it up, it took a few steps to get this all set up. But now, as we create new webhooks, we just simply change the URL in here, click send. And now if we come back over here and we say fetch samples, notice we have a payload request again, and now we could do the exact same thing. So you're gonna do this for all five steps. Um, just create a, create a workflow, step one, step two, step three, four, five, and so forth. And you should be able to get everything set up. And when support finally gets uh, all the webhooks done, you'll be live and you'll be good to go. And now you can start using the new webhook feature inside of the workflows to capture all of your affiliate marketing leads that come in rather than having to pay or use a third party system like Zapier. So Hope you found this particular video useful. If so, please leave me a comment. I would appreciate it. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so. Have a great day.